She gets weird. She gets weird. She gets weird. She gets weirder. 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 <laughs> I can imagine every day doing a sport with her. Yeah. These days I felt so weird. Yeah, good one. These days I felt so weird. So one day, one day you could say, today or that day, doing a weird sport. Oh yeah, weird, huh, weird, doing a weird sport. Today, that day, that equals one day. Or you can say, these days equals many days. One day I will look for you. Yes, oh, one day. I will look for you. Like frisbee golf. Frisbee golf is not that weird. You never played it, so you don't know. And it's called disc golf. <laughs> These are good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick a new one. Are you ready for a new one? I will say this. People who play disc golf are often weird, but the game disc golf is not weird. Oh, she imagines a weird crocodile wearing a blue shirt. Use a blue shirt and drink cold cola every day. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> Good. She imagines a Wearing a blue shirt, use a blue shirt and drink cold cola every day. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> Good. She imagines a weird crocodile wearing, wearing. So we can use a pencil and when we have clothes, we wear. So wearing a blue shirt and drinking. Coca-Cola every, and we can make it easier every morning. Every morning. Imagine she played frisbee golf every day. Weird, right? <laughs> awesome. These are great sentences. I like to see what you are imagining. <laughs> awesome. All right, ready? Pick another one. A queen. Ooh, okay. We have a compound sentence. So it can be any tense. Now, later, I will go to my course. Okay, bye. Have a good class. Bye. Thanks for coming. And be safe if you go out to the store. Maybe you already went. Be safe, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> awesome. So, a compound sentence has... Two, they come together with a, a fanboy, which is for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. So two sentences, they come together with a fanboy. So, compound. Now, parts we have... A queen again, a pencil. Okay, compound. Pencil. <laughs> oh, yes, go. Yes, different kind of compound. So this is a compound sentence. A compound sentence has two sentences and we put them together and we use for and nor but 
or yet or so. So the dog runs, the cat plays, the dog runs, and the cat plays. Try it. Good. Two sentences come together. All right, we need a clubs. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Number two, eat. Ooh, okay, a pencil eats. Uh oh. <laughs> pencil eat. And we have. Oh, these are my discards. Okay. Number six. We did six. Oh no, how does that keep coming back? <laughs> okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Um. Eight. Angry. Wow, this one will be weird. Angry. Okay. No. <laughs> no buffalo. Okay, a compound sentence with a pencil, eat, and angry. For example, uh, he is angry, so he eats a pencil. <laughs> Right? That's a compound sentence. He is angry, so he eats a pencil. <laughs> Please do not eat a pencil. <laughs> pencil eat angry. An angry buffalo decided to eat some grass so that a pencil could be born. <laughs> Yes, that's a great sentence. I don't know where the pencil comes from, but it's a great sentence. <laughs> yep, an angry buffalo decided to eat some grass so that a pencil could be born. All right. That makes me so angry. You cannot eat a pencil or a pen. Oh no, I'm so angry and hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and we have a little pencil. The child drew a pencil and ate his breakfast after his anger. Excellent. A day on school, I was so angry, so I ate a pencil in front of the teacher. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Eating. Excellent. So, <laughs> we have... I went to use a whiteboard for this one, but I will not. I will not use my whiteboard. Because this is really, I'm going to use it. I know. I'm 80 years old. My 80 year old whiteboard. I never ate a pencil in my life. Good. I'm very happy. You never ate a pencil. Oh, that's not a good marker. Okay, great. So, we can have. We can say. So I'm looking at the child drew a pencil and eat his breakfast after his anger. So we can either say the child. Now the child, the child is he or she or it. And so when we say he or she or it, we add S on the verb. So we can say the child draws. Can you see that? The child draws. Uh, draws a pencil and eats and eats so when we have he she or it he she or it we add s draws or eats or we can use the past tense in the past tense we can say the child drew and eight. Drew and eight. And if you want to use eating, you can say the child is drawing a pencil and eating his breakfast. Yes, good night. Oh, good night, guys. I know it's late for you guys. <laughs> oh, no. Do you watch, um, 
Oh no. Do you watch um <laughs> Papa Bless? <laughs> um, what's his face? Oh, Ethan. Bye guys. Have a good night. Yeah, a three to I just could think Ethan and Ela. <laughs> Thank you. H3, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Alright, so yeah, we can say the child draws and eats, or the child drew and ate. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's getting to be lunchtime in three hours. I always look at the time after it's been after people start to say bye i look at the time and i think whoa three hours and you guys like it's like you came to a three hour english class that's crazy that's crazy well hopefully it's fun it doesn't feel like a three hour english class <laughs> oh these are awesome sentences you guys i hope you like this game i thought it was fun you had some great sentences. That'll be our last one for now. Awesome. Yeah, we cannot eat a pencil. <laughs> we cannot. Pencil is made of wood and our bodies are not... Our bodies are not meant to eat wood. Maybe it's like a special pencil. Like some pencils have candy. You can say, yes, 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 yes. You can say the child is drawing a pencil while eating his breakfast. Yes, he is drawing. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh, people in your class eat paper? Oh no. <laughs> Does the teacher, does the teacher tell them to stop? <laughs> and you are a teenager, oh no. Are they hungry? <laughs> oh. It doesn't taste very good. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Feel better. Yeah, I'm gonna leave soon, too. Feel better. Get some rest. Stay home. Try to eat. Oh. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. We'll be back on Thursday. We'll be back Thursday afternoon. Bye. Oh, stress? Oh no. There's two stressed out so they eat paper. Oh no. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Alright guys. I think we're gonna... Um, this is probably loud, isn't it? And I just dropped all the cards. Oh no, we're stress eating paper in class. Yikes! Yeah, people do some things when they get stressed out, like eat paper. <gasps> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so we're gonna go eat some lunch. And have a great afternoon. Bye everybody. We'll see you on Thursday afternoon. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. I will figure it out.